is up everybody it's tj plays here and i'm back with another sims 3 world overview and today we're going to be looking at cherry some yoshino i think i pronounced that right <laughs> now this world as y'all can already tell is surrounded by a bunch of cherry blossom trees and i was like you know what y'all i just came across this world and it's springtime in real life cherry blossom trees bloom in the springtime so i was like oh my gosh we just got to look at this world <laughs> now i'm not really sure about all the packs that you'll need for this world because it wasn't really listed on the creator's page that i could tell but i do know right off the bat just by looking at the world that you will at least need island paradise and late night because i see a bar and a dive lot but as I go around, if I see something that you'll need or if y'all see something that you'll need, let me know. I'll let y'all know. Also, I do want to point out that there is some custom content that you can download for this world. It does replace the cherry blossom trees in the base game with these. It kind of just makes them look a little bit brighter. So if you want to download those, I will leave a link as well. But let's go ahead and get into it. So I think what I'll do is why don't we just start? Um, Let's start down here and then we'll work our way around. So we're going to go down here to this lot. Again, I think the creator of this world is Japanese or speaks Japanese. So a lot of the lots in this world will be blank. But that is the reason why, because my game just doesn't translate Japanese. Yeah, but let's go ahead and go down here to this little area. All right, y'all, so we're down here at this little park area, and it looks so good. You have a little area over here where you can play chess or just come and sit down. You have your all-in-one bathroom right here. Over here in this little area, you have like a little playground area with some spring rides. There's also a slide. You have this nice pond out here where you can come and fish if you would like to. You have some photo booths over here as well. You also have a swing set. You have a fruit harvest station. So this is dark content, so you will need this as well. You also need seasons for these consumers session stands out here there's also a grill a stereo a little place to sit in the corner another place to sit and then over here you have another photo booth and a little grill and a place to sit as well and i want to say didn't one of these photo booths comes with showtime i want to say i don't know which one but maybe showtime y'all can let me know in the comment section but yeah so you have this nice little park area if you need it so now let's go over here next y'all to this little pool area it doesn't have a name but we'll go and check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at this little pool area and it is just a pool with some pool ladders and diving ports over here as well then over here in this area you have some lounge chairs there's also a grill and a picnic table out here as well and then you have like access to this water out here which you could come and fish if you wanted to or snorkel or just swim around and i think it looks kind of cool out here like i love the scenery of this world again i took out my lighting mod if y'all were wondering i sometimes switch between the perfect day lighting mod and the blue skies and sunshine lighting mod both by burnt waffle and i took it out because i felt like it made the cherry trees look a little bit too bright <laughs> like almost really white so i took it out but you can always put in a lighting mod if you want to but i just took it out just for the sake of the video but all right, y'all, let's go ahead and keep moving on. So we're going to go over here next to this side of the world, and we're going to check out this beach, and then I guess we'll check out this little pier section. So let's check out the beach first. All right, y'all, so we're down here at this little beach area, and there's not much out here. You just have these little torches out here. There's also an all-in-one bathroom, but you have tons of space to add more out here if you really want it to, though. And I think it looks kind of nice. And I want to say that you will need university, because I want to say this is where that little sign came from yeah it comes from university so you will need that pack as well and then out here you have the little pier section which you have some trees growing through the pier which is pretty interesting but yeah you have this little pier section out here i don't think your sims can actually walk on it or maybe they can walk on it i don't know i guess your sims could technically walk on it but i feel like this world has a lot of nice picturesque places to take like nice screenshots and stuff like that so maybe i would come here to do that all right let's go over here next to this little area again it doesn't really have a name but we'll go and check it out all right y'all so we're down here in this little area and it looks like it's a little park area or like a gathering area you have some fire pits out here there's also another picnic table some chess tables over here and then you have some outhouses these came with the movie stuff pack so you will need that stuff pack as well and then you have like a little puddle down here but i guess your sims could technically fish here so you have like a little mini pond out here but otherwise it's pretty empty so you could definitely add more stuff out here if you want to the creator did say that you could you know edit the town to your liking so you can always do that if you want but next let's go over here to this little fishing spot all right y'all so we're down here at this little fishing area and you have a little fishing spot here there's also one over here as well you also also have a fire pit here one over here as well the weather stone from supernatural spawned over here in my game and then out here you have the all-in-one outhouse bathroom that you can always use and then again like look at the scenery like i love all the cherry blossom trees out here y'all again you could you definitely use this for to take some really nice screenshots I think it looks cool and now let's go over here to this other fishing spot all right y'all so we're down here at this fishing spot and i zoomed out a little bit because i kind of noticed that it looks kind of like a heart like 
kind of like a heart. Maybe that was intentional. Maybe it wasn't. But I can't be the only one that's seeing a heart, right? Let me know. Do y'all see a heart? I I'm seeing a heart. But anyway, <laughs> but you have this nice fishing area out here that your sips could come and fish or swim if you want them to. And then over here, you have like a little building or something. I guess we can open it up real quick to see what's on the inside. So maybe this is like a little community center or something or a little gathering spot outside of the fishing area. But when you come in, you have some places to sit down. You have a computer desk over here a bar you have a bunk bed over here so you could go to sleep if you want to and then you have a bathroom in the corner as well as a fridge so you could definitely come here and eat maybe it's like a little rest stop area maybe you could come here on a date or something like that and just sleep you know if you want to or maybe have like a family outing or something like that so i think it looks pretty cool but all right y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go over here next to Let's check out this little spot down here. It's not labeled on the map, but I just want to check it out real quick. So let's check this out. All right, y'all. So I went ahead and I zoomed down and I guess it's just another like unofficial fishing area, a little body of water. Maybe you could treat it as like a little pond or something like that to swim in, or you could always fish here. So I thought that was really nice. All right, y'all. So next, let's check out this lot. This is a bar and it's called, I think it's Eowie. Hopefully I pronounced that right, but it is a bar. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick. All right, y'all. So we're down here at this bar area. Let's go ahead and scroll down. So when you scroll down, this just appears to be like a little lobby area with a bookshelf. You can come and sit in here if you want to. And there's nothing above this. So I guess you have to go down. So when you scroll down, yeah, as you can see, everything is down here. So when you scroll down, you have like a little entrance gate. There's also like a bar right here. You have shuffleboard, a little area to sit over here in the corner. You have a dartboard. Over here, you have some bathrooms, another little place to sit right here. You have an arcade cabinet. And then up here, you have a platform with some instruments on it. So you could always come and like, you know, perform your late night bands here, or you could always just come and like perform or maybe just raise a skill if you want to. So you do have a stage for different uses if you would like to, but I think this bar is pretty cool though. All right, y'all, so that was the last community lot. Now let's go ahead and move on to some of the houses. There are not a lot of houses in here, so we should be able to see all of them today. But I'll first start off by showing y'all the house that I placed Elliot down so let's go over here first to this one all right y'all so this is the house that i placed elliot down at it's a really nice starter home it has like a pond out here and like another little pond here and here where you can always come and fish if you want to there's also a picnic table out here as well that you can come and just sit down if you want to there's also like a park bench out here as well but let's go ahead and open up the house real quick so when you come in you have a nice living room area right here you have your kitchen in the back you have your bathroom slash laundry room over here and then you have your bedroom in here there's also like a bookshelf right here and there's also a lot of clothes hampers in this lot you also need to have university because i think that's where this laundry hamper came from but then if you don't know who elliot is y'all he is my tour god sim he is in most of my royal overview videos he was also in my nightmare legacy channel challenge series and a nightmare legacy challenge series is like a normal legacy but you're playing on short lifespan so it gets kind of hectic i don't know what elliot's doing right now i think he's like booing at the tv or something i mean I don't, what you watching okay anyway <laughs> but yeah so if you want to watch that series i will leave a link down below but now let's go ahead and move on to some of the apartment lots so i think there's an apartment lot here and i want to say it's one over here as well so let's check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at this apartment lot let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in it's just a little lobby down here but let's go ahead and scroll up so when you scroll up you have a nice apartment right Right here you have a nice living room area right here there's also your kitchen table your kitchen over here complete with a coffee machine then you have your bedroom in here and then you have a bathroom so it is like a one bedroom apartment but i think it looks really nice and then right outside of the apartment you have this nice little fishing area out here or you can just come and swim in here if you really wanted to which i think it looks really nice and now we'll go over here to this uh, apartment and i think this is like the last apartment so we'll go ahead and check this one out next all right y'all so we're down here at this apartment lot let's go ahead and open it up real quick quick let's go all the way down just to make sure we're not missing anything oh that goes the university mascot but there's nothing really in here though but your doorbell and your, your elevator but you could always add more in here if you want to but when you go ahead and scroll upstairs you have your room so when you come out the elevator you have your nice living room area right here again you can you have a lot of nice scenery of the water and of the world and the trees and stuff like that which i think looks really nice you have like a little uh door that you can come out on and add stuff out here on the balcony if you wanted to you also have a nice kitchen area over here and then when you go up the stairs Cheers. So when you come upstairs, you have a bathroom over here with some bathroom stalls. There's also a shower. And then over here, you have your bed and your dresser and nightstands and stuff like that. But I think it's kind of interesting because like the bed, access to the bed is kind of like blocked off by this gate, which I think is kind of cool because maybe you have guests over and you don't want them to like get in your bed or anything like that. So I think that's pretty cool. But otherwise, you do have a lot of spacing here to add more on if you want to though. But I think this apartment lot is really nice. So I went into edit town mode because I just wanted to show y'all that there's a lot of space in this world for you to add more things 
on if you want to. There's an empty lot here. There's also one here and here as well. Also one right there. You have one over here as well. So there's a lot of empty space in this world to add more on. There's also like another one right here. So you can always add more onto this world or place your own lots or build your own if you want to, which I think is really nice. I think I might actually build something for this world because I feel like I want to build like a house or something. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. Again, this world is called Cherry Some Yoshino. I think I pronounced that right. But I think this world is kind of cool though. It's not super big by any means. I know some of y'all out there have mentioned how you like the smaller worlds. And I was like, you know what? Let's show off this world. I mean, and it fits with the season. You know what I mean? Like it's springtime right now. Cherry blossoms bloom in the springtime. So I was like, let's just show the world off now. Again, I feel like you don't really have to get the default replacement for the cherry blossoms if you don't want to i think it'll look cool regardless but you know if you were wanting i will leave that link down below as well there's also like a floating picnic table out here this world i have noticed does have some picnic tables like sprinkled around so you could definitely like use those for like screenshots or just come and eat out if you want to but otherwise y'all i think this world is really nice and i will leave a link down below if you want to check it out but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching Thank you.